Okay, so... I need to stay completely quiet without moving. So, uh, let me try to explain you what is going on here. My face is being tracked by Max MSP. If you don't know Max MSP, it's like a programming language environment software that it's used to make music applications or synthesizers or many things. I just discovered it now. And yeah, because I was trying to find a way to track my face to control MIDI data. In this case, I'm going to use it to control Ableton through MIDI, but you can also control external instruments if you send MIDI out. Quite interesting. And I'm going to show you how it works. If I move. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's the technology. Oh, so, oh, I need to close that. Okay, now. So that's the technology I'm talking about. And it's fun. It's fun. It's interesting. Yeah, you can play, actually, as an instrument. So you play the space. That's the point, playing the space. MIDI space, because you occupy the space and you play the notes in the space. Um, you can be like far away from the camera and or you can use, I don't know, maybe you can use small objects that have a face. Oh, I will leave in the description the original file that I found on the internet regarding these and all the info. Uh, so you can do your own investigation if you are interested in these kind of things. So what I did is I just loaded uh, in Ableton just two channels and one channel is full of different one-shot samples and the other one it's an instrument. So I'm playing them together and we got something like this. <laughs> Which sounds quite good, but yeah. So yeah, the idea maybe is transforming this into a sequencer. How? Like a loop maker. If you move like this, and then you can have another face with another camera making the melody. Who controls the controller? If you're recording a new video, I always think if it's worth it or not. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot outside, so I don't know. I'm just wondering if it's worth it.